Your body is amazing, but sometimes it needs fixing. All over the UK, there are special teams of professionals trained to tackle medical mysteries. And some of their work is life-changing. Today, I'm meeting 10-year-old Ben, who has epilepsy. Your brain is incredible. It tells your body what to do by sending electrical messages through your nerves to your muscles. Whether you're walking, blinking or picking your nose, it's these messages from the brain that control movement. But sometimes too many uncontrolled messages come from the brain to the body, creating a storm of electrical activity. And when this happens, it's called an epileptic seizure. Epilepsy is a condition that affects 60,000 children in the UK. So you might have it, or you might have a friend who does. Ben has been having seizures for nearly five months. Morning. As well as medicine, in a small number of cases, doctors can use surgery to treat epilepsy. And that's why Ben has come to Bristol Children's Hospital. So you have these seizures, now how often do you have them? Uh, two times a day sometimes. And what happens when you have a seizure, do you know? I don't know. Not sure? And why don't you know? Because you're not conscious when you have them, are you? Yeah. You don't remember them at all? No. So today is a really big day for you. Yeah. Why is it a big day? Because I'm operation. You're going to have an operation today? Yeah. Ben's incredible surgery involves removing a small part of the brain, which doctors believe is causing his seizures. Ben has had MRI scans and electrodes fitted to his head to pinpoint the exact area to remove. Dr Mike Carter is carrying out today's operation. We learned that there are electrical activities coming from one particular part of the brain, and that area of the brain is the area that contains the abnormality we can see on the scan. So he's going to have an operation to remove this abnormality and hopefully cure his seizures. It's time for Ben's operation. He's had a general anaesthetic to put him to sleep so he won't feel a thing. So this black bit here in this bit of Ben's brain, this is where those seizures are starting. And this is what Mike's going to take out today. Firstly, Ben gets a snazzy haircut in the place where the incision will be made. Then Dr Mike cuts through Ben's skin and muscle to expose the skull. Look away now if you're squeamish. So this is the bone. We're going to mark out where we're going to make some openings into it. What Mike's doing is opening a hatch. He calls it actually a trap door in the side of Ben's skull. And underneath, we're going to get to the brain. There you go. It's a bit of bone that's come out. OK, so we'll keep that, put it back in later. Another gross alert coming up. So this is the surface of Ben's brain. And about two centimetres under here is that abnormality of the blood vessels the mic is going to remove. To make sure Dr Mike gets to exactly the right part, he uses an amazing piece of technology called neuronavigation, which guides him to precisely where the lesion is. Dr Mike begins to cut into Ben's brain. I'm just beginning to see a difference in the colour of the tissue down here. I think that's the abnormality. That's certainly where the image guidance is telling us we need to be. So the, the red, angry-looking blob is the abnormality where we think the epilepsy is coming from. But, um, there you go. Have a look at it. Wow. So this is the lesion that Mike thinks has been causing Ben's epilepsy. And he's really hoping that now that he's taken that out, the seizures will stop. And a few weeks later, Ben is recovering well. So since the operation, how are you feeling now? I'm fine. Are you? Yeah. My head doesn't hurt. What about the seizures? I don't have any since operation. Really? Are your thoughts different? Yeah, because I couldn't really say things properly. I couldn't think what the words were supposed to be. But now I can. So, as you can see, Ben's surgery has been a really big success. Now, not everyone needs surgery. Some people can be managed with medication. But when it is appropriate, in the right circumstances, it can be absolutely life-changing. I think that's what we're seeing here. Right, I'm going to get stuck in. Where's that ball? Here we go. Oh. Oh.